play better technique right now than anybody in college football. That's my opinion. But I mean, these kids, these kids do it. What about me? Everybody knows about Roquan Smith. What kind of a uh, early impact does he make for you? You know what? He's a guy who just brings, packs his lunch pail every day, and and works his tail off. And he's probably ahead of schedule where you'd you'd think he would be. But so is Juwan Taylor. Mm-hmm. I mean, he's doing a hell of a job. So. Sorry. Just to be clear, are you saying you all are better than you were last year at inside linebacker? Yeah. Even with Ramik and Amarlo gone? Yeah. That's what I'm saying. That's 400 tackles of production in the last couple of years. That's pretty, pretty impressive. Pretty big statement. Um, you know what? They say undersell, over deliver. I say BS to that. <laughs> <laughs> Specifically, uh, you know, what has Kimbrough done to impress He's you done a great job. He's done a great job. He's physical. He's, he's in hockey's got these guys in unbelievable shape. He's done a great job with them. And you know what? Um, he, uh, he's, done, he's done a phenomenal job. Busted his tail this summer. So has Reggie Carter. You know, just uh, all those guys have done just a, a great job. Jake Gaines is... I mean, we got we got some guys who can play. How much time does Leonard get to work with you guys? I mean, we saw him at the star today. Uh, just, just uh, yeah. is, is it kind of a unique situation? You know what, Jeremy's got him working all over the place, and that's kind of his deal. And so he's a guy he could play safety if you want him to. I mean, he's so athletic. He's probably one of the most athletic players in the country. Is he in your meeting room at all? No, he's um, he he spends time in Jeremy's meeting room. Spends a little time in, um, in Kevin's. But um, he's kind of all over the place. You got a digital? No, no, he's he, uh, no. he just got such great natural instincts. I mean, I wish I could say I, I coached him and, and did that, but shoot, he, I, the guy upstairs did that. No. I was just gonna say, how difficult is that for a guy to stand in there if he doesn't know, you know, exactly all? Well, he's smart. His football IQ is obviously really, really high, and again, the guy's just really, really instinctive. So he's a, he's, he's pretty special. This every day he's got to get better, but he's got he's a little bit bigger, a little bit heavier, and um, so this heat so probably a little bit harder on him. But that's no excuse. I mean he's got to he's got to learn to go and, and go every time, and, and that's kind of that's kind of where it's at. Would you know who your top two guys would be if there were a game tomorrow? Uh, we got a lot of guys that are in the mix. Um, and we'd pick we could pick uh, pick a lot of guys right now at this point. Are there a lot of different skill sets? Also, that oh, will definitely. impact like whether guys oh, are definitely. using packages. And definitely, stuff. and you know, and, and Pruitt ultimately he decides that, and, and it's kind of based on who we're playing and 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 so forth, kind of the personnel we're seeing. Legitimately, how many guys do you think like six that you will probably like use in terms of at your spot? Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of guys that, that have an opportunity right now. Again, you got about uh, probably about. Probably about six or seven guys who realistically got a shot to um, to play. Are you counting Floyd among those? Uh, not even counting him. Do you have to? Yeah. Is there a morale issue when a guy like Floyd can take away snaps from some of the guys in your room? No, because what our guys understand is number one is team first, and and you know what? Um, it, we don't we don't have one selfish guy in our room. These guys they just want to win. They don't give a damn. They just want to win, yeah. and that's point blank. And and they're they're made of the right stuff. What about Roquan Smith after four practices? What are you seeing from him? Well, he's fast and, and instinctive, and, and he'll put his face on you. And, and he's, again, he's, he's one of those guys, usually it takes time for guys to come in and understand how to take on blocks and get off blocks. And, and both he and, and Juwan have really done a great job of really, and I think it comes from watching the, the older guys. Older guys come in there, and, and you'll see some rated R stuff. And I mean, they, they, they want to be a part of it. Juwan and Roquan were sort of compared during the recruitment, but have mm-hmm. you seen the similarities play out here in the fall camp? Yeah, I mean they're they're similar type players. They're both really really athletic. They're um, you know Roquan's up to about two and a quarter right now. JT's up to about two ten. So they're uh, um, you know they got a, they're they're getting where you want them to be. Where does Nick Moore fit into that group? I know he's a guy with some age you know to him. Yeah, been that, around. that's another guy who's done a really nice job and. And he's unbelievably smart and obviously very mature. And, and he's instinctive. He's a really good athlete. He's a big body. He's 247 pounds. And the guy's got a, he's got a chance to develop. He played safety in high school. And he's really, really, uh, really come on at linebacker so far. And it'll be a lot of fun to see how he develops. You, you know, the defensive backfield last year, one, one of the things that 
I talked about was the fact they had different starting lineup almost every week. Can you, you know, with the competition at your position, can you kind of see that being something similar? Well, what I'm hoping is that we can we can just have a Rolodex and we can just plug guys in. And that's what you want. You want to be able to keep guys fresh. The SEC, is a, it's a long grind, that count, you know, the schedule. So you want to be able to roll guys in, and, and you want to have confidence and, and be able to play a lot of different guys. 